it going, everybody? <clears throat> this is Jim and I Jets twelve seventy two here. Coming back, coming back w with another airport update for you guys. Um, today I'll be doing Philadelphia International Airport. This was requested by Jim and I Jets twenty eight and Jim and I Jets thirty three. So yeah, here's this airport update for you guys. Um, um, shout out to both of them, obviously. Go subscribe to both their channels. Great channels. So yeah. Um, and also uh, I have a shout out, or I don't really have a shout out, but if um, U.S. Airways, or if 757 U.S. Airways is watching this, I know that he normally does Philadelphia International Airport. Um, just to shout, just to tell him that I'm not going to be doing this on like a regular basis. This is just a one-time thing for me, because I know that Philadelphia is kind of your thing. So, um, basically, I'm just doing this because it was requested, and so this will just be a one-time thing. So, yeah. Um, so anyway, um, no really new news, no new models. I. You guys are probably wondering why I haven't bought many many models lately. I mean, it's just because I already have a huge fleet, and I mean, I have basically everything I need. If something really good comes out, then I may buy it, or I'll probably get a model every like like every few months or something. But I mean, I don't really need anything. But I will eventually get a new model, or oh uh, yeah. So um, anyway, let's get right into the update. Um, unfortunately for Philadelphia, I only have one um, international airline here, so sadly they had to. Park over here by the cargo terminal, but that's okay. Anyway, um, here we have Lufthansa A34300. This is actually operated by Lufthansa Skyline, um, and yeah, he'll be going out to Frankfurt. He's just getting last pa the last few passengers on board. <clears throat> here we have a FedEx MB1030 loading up cargo for a flight to Boston. Here we have a UPS 767300. F going to be going up to Paris Charles de Gaulle today, and he's taxiing um, over to the runway, which is a really long taxi for him. So we have a Delta connection, CRJ two hundred. Um, let me see here. Um, he's also taxiing for a departure. Also, he has a pretty long taxi, and he'll be departing to um, Raleigh Durham International Airport. And actually, um, today we have um, reverse operations, so the planes will be taking off towards um, my, or they'll be going this way um, in the real world, that's actually, um, that's to the east, so they'll be taking off to the east and landing off to the east over there too, so, yeah, just kind of something different I like to do. Alright, here's the United 767-300ER, then making his way up to San Francisco for a, for a continuing service to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Second line for departure, um, there's a very long line for departures um, at this time. Second line for departures of Frontier 321 in Auto the Owl. He'll be making his way out to Cancun, Mexico. American Eagle E170. Third line, uh, yeah, third line for departure for a flight to Toronto Pearson. Delta 737-800. Um, fourth line for departure going to Detroit, Michigan. And last in line for departure at the moment is an American 819. Which will be hit, which will be making a nonstop flight to Fort Myers. Moving on, or actually, move this one too. Um, here we have a. Ignore the background, guys. I'm in my basement. That's why it's so kind of crappy. But anyway, um, here's the JetBlue A320 in Betson Blue, livery departing for a flight to Boston Logan International Airport. So, you know, we'll have to go like this. All right. Here is a American 737-800 in the TWA retro colors. He'll be going out to Punta Cana, or Punta Cana, however you say that. Oops, sorry about that, guys. The camera just slipped. That's yeah, a really close-up view. All right, here's an American 737-800 getting fueled, and he'll be making an on-stop flight to West Palm Beach, Florida. If you guys had not already picked up, this is a hub for American, and for Frontier, actually, but... I only have three, two Frontier models, so I don't really, I don't really know. I can't really do uh, much Frontier flights. But anyway, here's American E190. He'll be making, he will be going out to Hartford, Hartford, Connecticut. American E219. We're making um, his way. Actually, no, he just came in from Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Empty uh, American Gate, empty Frontier Gate. Frontier A321 in Courtney the Cougar. Just came in from Orlando International Airport. Taxing for departure. 
the Delta A321. He'll be heading out to Salt Lake City. Behind him, also going for departure, is a American 767-300ER, which will be heading out to Manchester, UK. We'll go over to the um, to um, yeah, the uh, bleh, Beacon course of Terminal One. I'll just call it right now. All right. This this house is all Delta, and there's a few repeated flights, but I'll try to figure out how to. I'll probably have one arriving and one departing. All right. Here's a Delta A3 3200 getting cargo on board for a flight to London Heathrow. Here's the Delta 717 pushing back for Atlanta, Georgia. Here's a Delta MD-90. He'll be going out to Detroit, Michigan. Here we have a Delta 767-300 getting catered for a seasonal flight to Paris, Charles de Gaulle. Delta Connection CRJ-700. Alright, I'm going to try to go like this. I'll just give you guys this view. It's not very good, but it's the best I can get at the moment. All right, here's Delta CRJ, Delta Connection CRJ, seven hundred. Getting luggage on board for a flight to JFK, and last but not least, pulling into the gate or for the Delta terminal, I guess. But last but not least, for the Delta terminal is a Delta Connection CRJ one seventy pulling in from Minneapolis St. Paul. Um, turning to go park at the Delta at the Delta um, area is a um, Delta Airline 737-900 in the CE Woman Library, and he just came in from uh, Minneapolis St. Paul. Just touched down on my 48, and yes, I do know that this that this does not it, it isn't that or this is a unrealistic um, runway, but you know, um, doesn't really matter. That this is a fictional airport man anyway, so. Um, anyway, here's the United Day through 20 stars and bars. Just touched down, as you can tell, it hasn't, or hasn't even, um, I don't know what it's, what it's called. Um, but anyway, um, here's the United Day through 20 stars and bars. Just came in from Houston Intercontinental. Moving on with the um, B terminal. Um, here's a Southwest 737. Actually, no, that, that's actually. Terminal B, excuse me. Southwest 737-700 in Mexico colors. So he'll be going out to West Palm Beach. Has a very, very... Actually, no, not quite, but has a long taxi to the runway. Also taxing for the runway is a United A320 Star Alliance colors. Um, he's taxing for a flight to a Chicago O'Hare. Starting, we'll start off with this JetBlue A320. Here we have a JetBlue A320 in the Boston Red Sox tail. And he'll be going out to... Oh crap, I did this wrong. Sorry, we're going to actually start over here with a United, with a United 757-300 getting catered. Um, this, year, this United 757 will be going out to um, San Francisco International Airport. Sorry guys, sometimes this, or this comes untaped, so it gets really, um, there gets an air bubble under there, so I had to put that down. Anyway, here's a 9 day 19 He'll be heading out to Denver, um, United 737-800, getting luggage on the background, I'll show you in a bit. Um, but anyway, this is going out to Chicago O'Hare. There's the luggage. Oh, and this has split skim terminal once. You guys probably already picked that up. Picked that up. Anyway, I'm just, um, waiting for a, um, for an air stairs here is a, JetBlue 320 Prism Tail um, just came in from Fort Lauderdale. Then we have the JetBlue 320. Um, just getting the last passengers on board for a flight to Boston Logan International Airport. Obviously, this is in the Boston Red Sox tail. So it just kind of made sense to send it to Boston. Southwest 737 800 Slitscomber Terminal. That's New Ivory. Um, that's actually a really good picture. Or of that, that's actually a really good view right there, especially with the shine of the light. Um, so anyway, um, Southwest 737-800 going out to Las Vegas. Already got all the passengers on board, just is getting those last few gallons of fuel on board. Um, so yeah. Southwest 737-700. Uh, 
Las Vegas colors. Could be going out to Dallas Left Field. Pushing back is a Southwest 737 300. He's pushing back for Chicago Midway. That's a good view, also. Alright. Go over here. Sorry, I keep. There's a wire right there because we're. we're gonna, it's just an, ex, an extension cord. Alaska 737 700 getting um, luggage on board for. Seattle, this is actually a delayed flight by like two hours, so that's why there's... You'll understand after I get to the next plane. Okay, so here's a Alaska 737. 700 split skin guitar winglets. Um, he's also going out to Seattle, but this is... This flight just came in literally 15 minutes ago. And, but this flight um, over here has been here for two hours, or just came in 15 minutes ago also, but was scheduled for two hours ago. Because it got delayed um, at its... Um, last, um, at the last airport it was at, which we'll say was, obviously was Seattle also, so. Yeah, that's why there's two, um, Alaska flights here. So yeah, and last but not least, the beautiful, tiny but beautiful, United Express E145 getting, um, last, um, people on board for a flight to Washington Dulles. Alright guys, that is it for this airport update. Hope you guys did go on to enjoy it. Uh, let's just look at this American tail right here. So yeah, guys, um, a little bit of news. Um, I may be starting a new series. It will not be aviation related, but um, some guys may find it interesting, some not. But anyway, um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet. I will um, let you guys know if I am planning on doing it. But as of now, I am. I just gotta um, figure out how I'm gonna do it. Is what I gotta figure out. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm getting pretty long on the time. Don't want to keep you guys longer than I need to. So anyway. Um, also, yeah. Um, since I am gonna be starting, or since school is starting soon. I will be going down to one video per week. Or if I do start the new series and two videos per week, probably one airport update. Or, well, since I have a lot of um, airports that were requested by people, um, I need to do those. So probably have an airport update a week. And then if I do start the new series, uh, episode of the new series. So anyway, th thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at jimandjeffs1272. Link will, or not link. Um, also, that will also be in the in the description if you need to. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.